Today, we are at the Nathan and Olive Boone Homestead State Historic Site just outside Ash Grove, Missouri. It is the day after Christmas and here in Southwest Missouri, it is 60 degrees. So we thought it was a great day for us to get out and do a little Christmas adventure. They have a special event going on here at the homestead. They have a virtual Christmas tour because of course we're still dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. And so they have a nice safe way for us to do a little festive tour of the homestead. So we're gonna check it out today. When you first arrive here at the State Historic Site, there is a visitor center which is closed right now, but right next to the visitor center is a nice kiosk that's gonna give you some good historical information. It's got some history of Olive Boone here that you can find out lots of stuff about her. Over here, it's gonna tell you about Nathan Boone himself. And then over on this side, you've got some maps that you can get, which I'm gonna grab one for our tour today. And the best thing is, is if you have a dog with you, they provide you with a pet way station, which is always helpful when you're adventuring with a pup. Nathan Boone is the youngest son of Daniel Boone. He was born in 1781 in Kentucky, and he came to this area when he was in his 50s. And this is the historic homestead of Nathan and Olive Boone. To start the virtual tour, right across from the kiosk, you're going to find some QR codes that you scan with your phone. It's gonna bring up videos that are gonna tell you all about the things on the tour. So I've got mine scanned and I'm ready for video number one. There are three trails here at the homestead. You have the one mile spring box trail, which takes you down to the original spring that provided water for the homestead. You have the half mile loop homestead interpretive trail, which is what we're gonna go check out today, where you get to see the actual cabin where the Boones lived. And then there is the Prairie View Trail, which is a 2.4 mile loop, which takes you through the prairie type area so you're going to see more of the farmland and the limestone areas that make up part of this 370 acre homestead here we are at stop number two of the virtual tour let's find out some more stuff There's a lot of African American history here at the homestead as well. In the early 1800s when the farm was settled, there were slaves that helped to clear the land and build the original buildings. And at the time of Nathan Boone's death, there were 11 slaves that were working here on the property. And behind me is the African American cemetery that contains the graves of some of those slaves from the homestead. Very soon off the main path on the Homestead Trail is the Nathan Boone Family Cemetery. And so you'll see the monuments right there at the beginning for both Nathan and Olive and other members of their family out in this graveyard. Stop number three on the virtual tour, you're gonna to learn all about Olive Boone and how she was the person who really took care of the homestead because Nathan was out either doing business or adventures and she had to manage all of this land which was like 1,200 acres that reached all the way in to Ash Grove. Now typically they have guided in-person tours of the homestead. I'm really proud of the Missouri State Park system because they've made the very best of this COVID pandemic. And instead of shutting the whole thing down completely, the fact that they're providing these virtual led tours and still allowing the property to be open still gives us the ability to enjoy it.
one of the fun things about coming here at Christmas time is that the park rangers have decorated the cabin with 19th century traditional Christmas decor found right here on the homestead. Well, what a fun little afternoon excursion here at the Nathan Boone Homestead. Yes, this is a beautiful place to come and take a little stroll with your family, learn a little bit of Missouri history, and just have a chance to enjoy the great outdoors. It's a great place during this pandemic time to safely have an outdoor adventure, take advantage of the fact that our Missouri park rangers have given you some great information via their virtual tours, so make sure you bring your cell phone. And it's just a great reminder that you can find history around the corner just from your home base. So do a little exploring because today is an adventure day. 